From regional to mainstream Bollywood, Indian movie makers have always attempted to safeguard their money along with the distributors. However, with a new generation of sensible producers, we are witnessing a gradual but pleasant change in the scenario. I am not here to pinpoint or release my aggression on Bollywood. And also, I'm not a die-hard Hollywood fan who sees Indian cinema as pure garbage. Rather, I'm here to just discuss endemic diseases causing our movie industry to suffer. If we see a trend, we could definitely see Bollywood's obsession with sequels, adopted from a model established in Hollywood but now exploited in Indian film industry. A sequel may either be a continuation of a specific story or keeping with the spirit of a certain defined universe. Either way, there are no surprises for the audience. They know what they are in for. It is simple, there is a world established and there is a certain falling for it. Any production house or studio will try to exploit it with a new film you have to establish everything from scratch. On the other hand, a lot of audience is already tuned in, has watched and possibly liked the first part. And also, the remakes with little seasoning are most of the times are sure shot hits. One thing is inevitable in Bollywood. Focus on a stardom. That it is simple, that when you have a big star in your film, you do not need a good story or script. Or at least, that is what most of the Indian filmmakers think. To analyze this problem with a different point of view, take an example of several advertisements that star big Bollywood stars. You will find that almost all the ads starring Bollywood bigwigs have no real concept or story. These commercials try to sell the product by associating themselves with the stardom of the hired actors. Similarly, several studios and producers in India try to peddle tasteless film by bringing in one or more superstars in it. Just give the film a really good look, throw in some foot-tapping music and nobody will care about this story anymore. And you know what? What is other thing which is easy to do and very much create hype before any movie launch? That is, cast a son or daughter from the industry. And I hope you're ready because I am going to address the elephant in the room, which is nepotism. Not just Bollywood, but nepotism is a serious problem with every industry in our country. With a population over 1 billion, Indians prefer to get their relatives placed in their line of business. And Bollywood is no exception, with almost every third actor coming from the family of a yesteryear actor. Our film industry has been plagued with this virus of relativity since filmmaking become a big business. Even today, it's deemed almost impossible for a talented newcomer to make a mark in Bollywood without any godfather. Indeed, I have made a whole another video talking about top actors who are product of nepotism. So don't forget to check it out. Moving on, unlike outside movie industries, Indian movie industry works on movie formulas. I feel every 10 years there is a movie concept which Indian film industry, especially Bollywood, tries to milk. I am pretty sure you remember the time of item songs and almost every movie using it. Nowadays, it is a time of biopics because one movie made decent amount of money one time so everyone would like to catch the same idea. Doesn't matter if they have a decent script or concept. Normally biographies are close to reality and there are things like inspired by true events or based on true story. But Bollywood has blurred the line between them and just embellish as they want. Uses of slow motion and proper songs just make them too far from biographies and rather make them typical Bollywood cliche movies. Now I am going to talk about the main reason why our industry is like this. Any guesses? Think about it. Okay, time over. It is us as audience. I know demand and supply plays an important role in any kind of business, but I personally feel that we as an audience have developed a bad taste and have appreciated many uncooked and bad recipes. Award shows are just extravaganza, sizzling dance numbers added to attract mass viewers in every award show, make them appear like a reality show rather than any award show. The majority of Indian producers like to play safe. Actually, what, what is a star? A star is someone who, regardless of the type of film that they're in, is going to guarantee you that day one. I mean, it's not even a weekend today, it's a day one. And in order to do so, they do not shy away from employing old formulas and cliches. As a society, we wait for a trend like, for example, feminism also requires a good burning time to be practiced. If there is no noise, then we will accept cheap sexist jokes and make the movie super hit. 
We have to understand that all these are movie makers attempt to safeguard their money by serving us substandard movies and as an audience we allow them to get our hard earned money by doing the same thing every time. So next time if two movies are released at the same time but with different notions ask yourself what kind of future you want for the industry. Maybe we could support a movie with soul and help similar creators to improve the industry. Well, ultimately it is your money, so you have all the rights to use it the way you want. If you liked what you saw, maybe you could share this video with your friends and family and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next list. Till then, have a good one.